Okay, John, we got your DX33 HP here set up. Uh, I want it to work good with your box. Uh, let me show you what I did for the power levels. Over here on low, that I didn't adjust at all. Keying up at about a little over one and a quarter. Audio. Audio. All right, swinging up to about eight. Here's medium. Just under three watts. Audio. Swinging up to about 15. And then here's high. Audio. Pretty impressive swing there. Now that's just the radio. Now for running this amp, you're good. Uh, if you want to run the amp wide open, I got it so you can have this on high. And uh, you're going to want to run this in either the low or the medium spot. The low spot's really going to get you the best, loudest sound in audio. Uh, and medium would work fine too. I, I had turned down the medium power level a little bit. That'll give you a higher carrier, but still a good swing on the peaks. And if you switch to high, it's going to look impressive on your meter when you key up, but you, when you modulate, you'll uh, actually get a little bit of negative swing or barely any positive swing. And I'll show you what I'm talking about here. And uh, who knows, maybe this will help some other people out there on YouTube set up their amplifiers and show you the proper way. So uh, let me get this set up here. We're going to be looking at this meter for uh, the power level. I, I can't hook up the analyzer when I run that much power. It'll burn the input up. But uh, just to give you a visual on here. Okay, well, we're in the low power scale now. Here's what the radio on low. Audio. All right. Here's the radio on medium. Audio. And here's the radio on high. Audio. Alright, now we'll put this in the high power scale. Turn this on over here. And I'll show you what we're doing for power. Now here, this is with... Uh, the radio is set to low. Let me see if I can get this to focus a little better for you. There we go. Alright, this is with the radio on low. Just under 40 watt dead key. Audio. Audio. About 75. Here's what the radio is set to medium. About a 60 watt carrier. Audio. Just to about to 90. And now watch what happens when we flip it to the radio on high. You'll see what I'm talking about. Almost 150. It's about 130 watts. Audio. Barely went up to 150. Now, the reason I say in lower medium is going to be the best, if you watch it on the scope, which is actually going to be your best representation of power. Here is what the radio set to low. So there's your carrier. Audio. Okay, now you see how high those modulation peaks were going just above. Uh, they are going just above these two cursors here. All right. Audio. Now I'm going to flip the radio to medium, and you'll notice that the carrier gets bigger but the peaks are still in the same spot. The carrier's bigger. Audio. See how the peaks didn't really go any higher? And now we'll put this to high. There's your carrier, and there's no room left for the audio to go. Audio. You can see the audio is just barely above the carrier. So what that means is, uh, on a regular meter, that's going to look impressive on the drive level, like I said. On, on something like this, that's going to make it look like you're putting out a lot of power. Because this doesn't have any active circuitry in it to, to really effectively measure the power. So when you have the dead key set higher, um, it sees more average power. And that tricks it into thinking that that you're doing better. And when you modulate, the needle will stay higher because the carrier is higher. But really, your audio hasn't gotten any louder. And you're not getting out any further than you would... Uh, had you driven it lower. Uh, so that's why I say I recommend running it low or medium on the radio and the amplifier on high. That's how I got it set up. Here's with the radio on low. 
audio. You're still getting the same size peaks. Medium. Audio. Audio. Peaks are maybe just a little bit higher, but uh, that's where it's going to sound the best for you. So with that radio set to either low or medium. You're still getting the same peak wattage out, even though the meter, a meter like this might not read it if it's a, act or a passive meter. If you're using an active meter, something like an analyzer like this, or like an oscilloscope, that can effectively measure the peak power. And uh, then you'd see that you're actually still doing the same thing. So There you go, that's all set up. And uh, we just got to do that microphone for you, and you'll be all set. All right, thanks.